Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to dump your Monster Hunter Portable 3, third, actually, uh, and apply Team Maverick 1's patch. I am not going to show you how to download the game if it's not in PlayStation Vita Store and you don't have a UMD drive, then you might be in, pro in trouble. Uh, but uh, this is um, a PSP fat, it's pretty old, it's my second, but uh, you need to crack it if you haven't done that, and that you will have to look up yourself, I do not take any responsibility if you break your PSP and end up with a brick, because it's kind, I'm not sure how it is now, I, I kind of cracked this years ago, so uh, it's probably completely different now, and maybe different custom firmware and stuff like that but uh, when you've done that then you obviously need the game these are uh, mine this is Freedom Unite and this is Monster Hunter Portable 3rd this is imported from Japan I bought it uh, on eBay I think it wasn't very expensive at all as you can see, it's all in Japanese, this game. It's not available in English, or uh, I'm not sure if it's available in any other language at all than, uh, than uh, Japanese. As you can see here, the instructions are all Japanese, I don't understand <coughs> any of it. And here is the, the UMD. It's a bit tricky to get out. There we go. So, um, there you go. You need the UMD for this. As I think I said, I'm not gonna show you where to download it. If you if you want to pirate copy the game, that's not on me. I, I do not tell people to pirate copy games. Uh, this is um, a 100% legit game. So the UMD is in there, uh, it should be loading here, there you can see, it's in Japanese, and uh, then you need a little zip file that I should have supplied in um, on the computer, and what you do is that you take I might cut that in. You take the... Um, if I supplied, I can say rather, then you take the UMD dumper and put it in your games folder on your PSP. And then you will end up with um, this little program here. PSP Slim UMD dumper version 2.0. That's the only one that I have managed to get working. You can if um, it doesn't work for me, but uh, if you push select, then you get a little um, VSH, I think, um, menu. You can put uh, the USB device to UMD disk and uh, the UMD ISO mode to Sony NP 9660. And um, for some reason this doesn't work for me, but when you go to the USB connection you should be able to direct access your UMD. I don't know why it doesn't work for me. I had to get a program and I got PSP Slim, UMB, <coughs> UMD dumper, sorry about that. So, uh, remote your light, if you see that, it's going to stop working here, I think. Actually, it is showing. Then you can um, go and uh, dump a UMD game to PC via USB. And you get a little pop-up. And that's your game, and it's already an ISO file. So... Um, just copy that to your hard drive where you want it, and that's about it. It actually takes pretty long time to um, to copy the game, so um, uh, I'm not gonna do that again. I think it took like 
20 minutes for me. I'm gonna exit this. Yes. There we go. So when it's copied, then you no longer have any need of UMD dumper. And um, let's see here what was next. It was so long ago. This is what you should have in the English patch. It's um, in the zip file supplied. It's the patch, the AC plugins, and uh, if not the UMD dumper, there should be a link to UMD dumper in the description. Um, so let's see. Here I have put my ISO file and I've renamed it, obviously, to Monster Hunter Portable 3rd. And um, then uh, there is the Monster Hunter Portable 3rd data bin that should be in the same directory as the Monster Hunter Portable 3rd patcher versus version 1.6.3 and I believe this is what um, defines the, um, the version. If you have a newer version I think that you can use that data bin with this patch here but I only have version 4 sadly. I wish I had a newer one but they shut down the site. I am grateful for Team Maverick 1. I just wish that they somehow supplied the latest patch. It's kind of hard to get it. So uh, when you have um, uh, when you have the ISO file, you just put it in. You can put it in the same directory anywhere else. You browse to it here, and you also need to make sure that your bin file is selected here. Then go to Untouched and push Patch. Patching ISO complete. Okay, that's it. Now you can copy uh, copy the ISO file to your PSP. Let's see here, and it should be in um, the ISO folder here. You can see, and um, you also need to copy. SC plugins, these files. You need to put game.txt in uh, your SC plugins folder, and I already got a game.txt here. That means that I instead just take the content, which is this line here. I take that line and put it into my old one. So um, there it is. On a new line, so that's pretty simple. Then the content in Monster Hunter Portable Third Loader, except the README file. You don't need the README file. I'm not sure why that is there actually. Yeah, it just says where to put the stuff if you need that. But uh, this directory, Monster Hunter Portable 3rd Loader, needs to be in SC Plugins and uh, Monster Hunter Portable 3rd 3 patch.prx and the data bin, the same data bin file as uh, we used to patch the game should be in that directory. Let's see here. So this is how it looks on the PSP. When you've done that, you can... Um, Hardboot your PSP and go into um, uh, restore mode if you like and make sure that the, the patch is uh, applied. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, uh, it's just booting up your PSP, go to your memory stick, give the out memory stick, and you should have. Uh, Monster Hunter Portable 3rd. In English. But uh, just to confirm, I'm gonna start it up here. There you can see the version, version 4.0. That's uh, confirming that it works. So 
So everything is not translated, but so far I haven't found anything that actually uh, makes an impact on the game. This should be. You can see, translated. Uh, don't remember the controls, it's long ago. And I think this guy, or maybe this guy is not translated. There you go. You can see everything is not translated, but a lot is enough to, to play this game. So I hope this helped and um, you get your Monster Hunter Portable 3rd working on your PSP. Thanks for watching and see you next time.